It will be okay. It sounds like a cliche. It's something you say to someone when you don't know what else to say or how to really empathize with their sorrow. When you're struggling with burnout, you might wonder how they know it'll be okay, if they know it'll be okay, or if they're just being polite. Ultimately, you discount what they say, but strictly speaking, they're right. We got to define what okay is, and the key problem is the definition of what it means to be okay. We often want to have free time. We want to feel like we're making a difference. The problem is we don't always feel that way. We see change coming, for better or for worse, and we can't see how things will still be okay. We can't imagine what that's like. Consider the newly injured paraplegic who hears, it'll be okay, and wonders how it could possibly be okay. How could anything possibly be okay ever again? But we fast forward a few months and you'll find out that most, if not all, have adapted to a new normal, a new way that their life works. It's not the same, it's very different, but at the same time, it's okay. When we say that things will be okay, we don't mean that things will be the same. We mean you'll survive and you're gonna find ways to be happy, even if there are new ways. It's not the same. In fact, the idea that what is to come is not the same is a source of hope. If you're struggling with burnout now, then more of the same would surely lead you further into the grips of burnout. So change is a good thing. On one hand, we like the security of the things we know. And on the other, we struggle to believe that things might not ever get better. So when you're thinking about the future, it's certain that it won't be the same. As the Greek philosopher Heraclides once noted, no man ever steps in the same river twice, for it's not the same river and he's not the same man. The fact that things are constantly changing gives us hope that we'll find a way that allows us to feel like we're more productive. Our goals may be changed or scaled back, but ultimately they won't be the same. Our goals change. A part of building burnout resistance is knowing when and how to adapt our goals to change them in ways that are still amazing and will still have the kind of impact that you want for the world, but that are still more reasonable than where you started. It's certainly possible to desire to be an astronaut. However, the number of astronaut jobs are very limited. Perhaps if you lose out on that one position you really wanted, you could consider how to bring your passion for space to the next generation of children. Bill Nye, known as Bill Nye the Science Guy, wanted to be a comedian, but connected with his love for science to develop programs that instill his passion into a new generation through science education. Goal changing doesn't change our ability to reach a balance in our life where we're okay or more than okay with the progress we're making and what we're getting accomplished. In the end, whatever the new goals are, a new normal will emerge. It will be okay, whether it feels that way in a given moment or not.